Hello! Welcome to the Pokemon Ethereal Gates demo. Before we begin, we have a few questions. Do you need to see what the controls are? No, I'm good. Next, would you like to play the game as a boy or as a girl? Well, in a lot of Pokemon games, well, the two Pokemon games that have Let's Played anyway, I played as the girl. Let's change things up, let's play as the boy. And what is your name? Right, I haven't introduced myself, the video has already been going for half a minute. Hey there guys, my name is Raxby and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Ethereal Gates, or well, the Pokemon Ethereal Gates demo. Uh, Pokemon Ethereal Gates is a fan game made by a group of fans of, well, the Pokemon series. Uh, and it looks very polished, uh, it plays in its very own region with its very own set of Pokemon, but they all looked pretty good, you know, a lot of fan-made Pokemon look kinda bad, to just say it bluntly, but... Pokemon Ethereal Gates, from the screenshots I saw, it, it looked very polished and good. And I was like, you know what? I want to give this game a try and see if it is as polished as it is. Now, the demo lasts up until about the second gym. So I'll be playing through all of that uh, in a few parts. And if you guys want to see more after that, let me know in the comments. Once they release more of that, I will then go through it. And, of course, if I like it, then I might just do it anyway. But we'll have to see how it plays. But for now, let me go ahead and type in my name. And uh, I think that should be good. So your name is Rexby. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Hello and welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Hawthorne. But people like to call me the Pokemon Professor. I personally study the Pokemon of this region. Now this right here. This here is a Pokemon. There are over 200 kinds in this region. We live alongside these creatures. Sometimes as companions and sometimes as colleagues. But despite our closeness, there is still so much we don't know about Pokemon. This is why I continue to study Pokemon at my lab. To unearth more of the mysteries surrounding them and the effects that they may have on our world at large. But there is only so much that I can study from my lab up north in Wimbrel Town. So for the next few weeks, I will be, do be in the south of the region, in Appalis Town, doing research. Anyone who might be interested in Pokemon research can and should come find me in Appalis Town. Thank you so much for watching the Pokemon Report today, and tune in next week for more exciting Pokemon information. Oh. My. God! We obviously have to go! Uh, what? What are you talking about? The Pokemon Professor is here in a palace town! We live in a palace town! Um, yes, yeah, so? So, we have to go see him! I'm such a fan of his work! Yeah, maybe you are, but... Where is she going? Do we... Do we follow her? Ah, <sighs> fine. But it's your fault if we have to sit through another one of those lame science talks. So there we go. We can now play. We are uh, this kid here. Oh, we have options. That opens my options. I did not mean to open my options there. That's okay. Um... Yeah, and this is our room. It, it does look very, very nice at the m moment. Oh, there's a potion in our desk drawer. Awesome, cool. We already got a potion. Yeah, it, it, the sprites and everything look very, very nice and polished. There was like a small black box at the start of that opening cutscene, but that's okay, you know. <laughs> Nobody uses analog clocks anymore. I'm sorry, I'm a grandpa. Hey there, Rexby. Where did all your friends go? They seem to go off in such a rush. Ah, uh, yeah, Mom, they, they kind of did, huh? Let's uh, check out, and oh, we're in a palace town. Come, Rexby, I've been waiting for you. 
Let's get a move on. All right, I guess we're uh, gonna go over here then. I can't believe the Pokemon Professor is actually here. I can't believe Raxby and I actually let you drag us down here. The science stuff is so boring. Boring? You are unbelievable. Both of you. I'm going over to talk to the professor right now. Where you follow me or not is up to you. Damned if we do, and damned if we don't. I guess we have no choice. Sure, let's uh, go up then. Um, excuse me, Mr. Professor, sir. Oh my. You shouldn't sneak up on me like that. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Hybril! No, no, Hybril. I'm fine. I'm just over-exaggerating. How may I help you all? Uh, well, we were here because you asked on the fee if anyone was interested in Pokemon research. She can't think that. Well, sir, the three of us are all interested. Oh, dear Lord. Really? That's wonderful news. You know, you three are the only visitors I have gotten all day. The population here is very small. But I need all the help I can get. So thank you so much. Not a problem at all, sir. How can we help? Well, I'm not as young as I used to be. Because of this, I need help surveying the southern part of Lenica if I ever want to get back to my lab in Wimbrel Town. I was wondering if you three could... Of course we'll help you survey the land. I'm sorry, she didn't think about asking us first? Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you all so much. For helping me, I'd like to give you all a gift. You see, I have these rather rare Pokemon. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Pokemon? You're giving us each Pokemon? Mm, yeah, as a token of my gratitude. I've got these three rare Pokemon, and there are three of you. I'll let you decide amongst yourself as to who will choose first. I don't mind which Pokemon I get, I'm in it for the research. I'll choose last. Don't mind if I... Rex, we should pick first. What? What? Why? Because I haven't heard any complaints from Rexby today, that's why. Ah, the advantages of being a silent protagonist. We can't complain and therefore get first dibs. Whatever, I'll pick second then. Well, go on, Rexby, choose! So, we can choose our starter Pokemon now. We also have this guy over here. It's a Haybro, I guess. Let's check. So, option number one is Fernling, the grass flying type. Option number two is Kittorch, the fire type. And option number three is Bubble, a water type. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Kit Torch. I like cats and uh, Kit Torch looks pretty cute. So yeah, let's go with Kit Torch. Rex, we obtained Kit Torch. Would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, I think I'm gonna nickname all my things. Let me come up with something good. All right, I have one. I'm gonna name it Yatero after one of the Samurai Pizza Cats because lately I've been thinking about that and I think you're, you know, it fits. This is a little cute cat. Why not name it after a cat from Samurai Pizza Cats? Okay, this one is mine. I'll choose the one that's stronger against yours, Raxby. So he's gonna go with the water type. Okay, that leaves this last one for me. So she has the grass one. Mm, fantastic, you've all made such great choices. Oh, oh, and of course, I have here for you each a Pokedex. Smooch and smooch. He just smooched all of us. No, it just looks like that because our heads are against each other with the sprites. Personal space, man. Personal space. It's a giant self-recording encyclopedia. And it will really help you to collect data for me. Anyway, the best direction to head in now is west of Route 1 towards Corella Town. I'm sure on the way you'll meet lots of interesting Pokemon species. Good luck, you three. Well, thank you. So we can now uh, go. Mm, do they say anything interesting? Mm, not really. You know what? Let's actually go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon now. Uh, so let's do summary. Kitarch has level 5 fire type. 
um, it has a timid nature. So that gives us a boost in speed and a decrease in attack, I think. Not sure if that's good for this guy, but we'll, we'll deal with it. We have scratch and tail whip and no ribbons. Huh, okay. And what was our ability? Blaze. Right, pretty typical. Okay, well, let's go. Hey, Raxby! Leaving town already? Good to see you're getting a head start. Hmm, a head start, huh? Why don't you boat battle, and we'll see who's really starting out ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks, but no thanks, August. I'm going to go ahead and do some bonding with my Pokemon before I use it in the battle. Okay, bye, April. Hmm, well, you're still here, Rexby. Let's battle. Alright, we have our first battle of the game. It's against rival August, and he has Bubble. Okay, go Yataro! Alright, uh, let's go for a fight, and uh, we'll do a Tail Whip to start off with. There we go, their defense drops, and our attack drops. Well, that was a pointless turn. I guess we're just best off scratching away then. Ooh, we can only take four hits and then we're dead. So we can do one more scratch, but then we're gonna have to heal up, actually. Uh, we're gonna lose this battle, aren't we? Okay, well, let's use this potion. And then go back to scratching, I suppose. This is gonna be very, very close. It's a good thing we had speed it, because that's gonna make the difference. Yeah, without a potion, there's no way we'd, we would have won this. But we finally get a critical hit when we don't need it anymore. But the bubble faints, and we grow to level 6. And we learn Ember. Awesome. Not too shabby. Wow, that was a fun battle. Next one's going to be mine, though. Eh. Anyway, see you down the road. And he leaves. Alright, that's fine. Now let's actually take a look around the town. See if there's anything else we can uh, pick up here. My brother is over by the edge of town, warning people not to go into the tall grass. You really shouldn't go out there alone. Yeah, yeah, I'll do what I want. Okay, so this is August's house. Let's see if uh, we can raid his fridge or something. Hi, Rexby, you look well. How's the family? Uh, they're, they're fine. Thanks for asking. Shh! The basketball game is on. Sorry. Can we talk over the sink? No. Oh, hi, Rexby. I talk you, but I'm busy cooking. We're hosting guests tonight. Hmm. Can I raid your fridge? Ah, no, we can't raid his fridge. That's a shame. All right, let's uh, go wreck his room then. Saying he's gonna beat me. Wow, that's... That's a lot of trophies here. None of them actually say anything, but that sure is a lot of trophies. Does he have a potion in his desk drawer? No, he doesn't. Oh, huh, he's on Wikipedia. Okay, well, nothing in there. That's okay. Let's just uh, leave then. And see if there's anything else somewhere else in town. Oh, right, a sign. A palace town, a breath of fresh air. And then it has another line to show emptiness. That That's brilliant. Okay, wait, this is April's house. So we haven't been in here either. So good to see you, Raxby. You should come by more often. April needs to socialize more. Hmm, does she? Sometimes the way April talks, everything goes way over my head. I get you, man. I get you. Oh, she's got quite a brain. I thought it was about how quickly she talks and everything. Hmm, no, so we can't uh, steal... April's food eater. Does she have anything in her room? A lot of books. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking there are still some on the shelf. Some nice sketches, huh? So she's an artist, huh? And she has her email. Alright, no, no time for equations in emails. Let's just go. 
And uh, yeah, I actually really like the visual style and the music is also really, really nice. I I'm enjoying this game so far. Technology is incredible. Did you know you can store and withdraw items and Pokemon as data from the PC? The power of science is staggering. Yes, yes it is. Okay, let's say goodbye to my mom. Sometimes we get something if we do. Honey, thank you for visiting. Oh, you look tired. Make sure you and your Pokemon have a nice rest. Well, I suppose that doesn't hurt. Now go out there and make me proud. Hmm. So she doesn't give us the running shoes like I was hoping she might. Oh, but as we walk away... Rexby! I heard about your Pokemon journey. I assume you'll be traveling very far. How exciting! To celebrate, I got you something special. Yeah, we get the running shoes! They're called running shoes and they make you run incredibly fast. The instruction says to hold Z button to run faster than ever before. I can't make heads or tails of what that means, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Anyway, good luck. And don't forget to come visit me every now and again. Awesome. So yeah, now we can uh, hold that down and go a bit quicker. Cool. Out there are lots of wild Pokemon. What a scary thought. Normally I tell people to not leave, but you have Pokemon, so you're fine. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright, so we go into Route 1, which goes between a Palestine and Corella Town. Okay. There's so many unborrowable Pokemon out here. It's too bad we can only carry six with us at a time. I don't think we have Pokeballs yet, so I don't think we can catch anything, but we can at least see what wild encounters there are. Oh, Avenge. So this is your basic bird type Pokemon, you know, like your basic, um, what's it called? Like Pidgey or what have you of the region. Okay, Kit Torch. Doing well. There we go. Doesn't get us a level up. Ah, right. We found a potion. I always check those empty spots in grass because they're just too suspicious. I'm training to be the best Pokemon Master ever. My Baboose and I are going to win all of our battles. Just not right now. We're still very weak. Oh, so you're not going to battle me? That's okay. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, oh, another Affinge. I'm probably gonna start cutting battles out from next episode onwards if they're not new battles anyway. Or maybe I'll just leave them all in unless, uh, you know, until we get a repel or something. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you would like to see in regards to that. Because, of course, you know, it is a new and different game. Some of those animations are pretty cute. Okay, we have Fervda. This looks like some kind of bug Pokemon. So, Ember will probably kill it in one go. Yep, it does. And there we go, that gets us up to level 7. Awesome. Okay, let's see, is there anything here? No, looks like there could be. No, nothing. That's okay. Trainer tips. X opens the menu. Why well, hello there. You seem like you're strapping, like a strapping young trainer. Let me to introduce myself. I work at the market up ahead in Corella Town. I'm here on Route 1 advertising the addition of Pokeballs to the Corella Town Mart. Have a free sample. Alright, awesome. So we got some Pokeballs. It's an essential item for the aspiring trainer. So please don't hesitate to stack up some more at the Mart. It's right in town. Cheers, mate. Ah, oh, well, thank you. I really feel like there should be something hidden in these flowers or something, but I guess there's not. But uh, that's okay, you know what? We are now here in uh, this next town, Corella Town, I think it was. Let's actually go back in. Yeah, Corella Town. So I think that's going to do it for a good first episode here. Next time we'll uh, explore Corella Town and move further on into this uh, game. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you are down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video. And I will see you all next time.